Making our dogs feel safe in new places. Now, whether it's a holiday cottage or, or campsite you've been uh, to before, or coffee shops and pubs, but also be talking about raw feeding your dog when away. Our lives have been very, very quiet um, over lockdown. And regardless of whether your dog was really good um, when you went away before, you know, it, it might be a really big ask now, um, just because they, it's been so quiet and we haven't seen very many people um, at all. So do take things slowly, even if your dogs have been absolutely fine. Um, and just give them time to acclimatise to new places. Do address uh, if, if your dog's got uh, has, has crept in with separation anxiety or they're barking uh, or lunging at other dogs and things. If we address these things before going, our holidays are going to be a lot more straightforward um, than um, firefighting these behaviours. Now, going away on holiday I know we love things clean and tidy and all the rest of it when we go, but please do refrain from washing your dog's bed. It's really nice for them if you take the bed that they've been sleeping in and you put it in, you know, either your camper van or your, um, your, your tent or your holiday cottage. If it smells of home, smells of them, it's going to help them settle in far better. Give your dog time to just get familiar with that place you know snoofling around the garden while you sit down and have a cup of tea when when everybody else is unpacking um packing the um your suitcases and things nominate yourself to be with a dog uh that's what i always do much better and everybody else can sort out the chaos in the house when all the hustle and bustle of all the suitcases and uh, paraphernalia that you take on holiday are into the cottage then you can take your dog in so your dog can again relax and just have a snoofle around the rooms that they're allowed in and do do note that there'll be you know check with the holiday cottage which rooms your dog's allowed in because generally it's just the kitchen um and the living room um and they can get familiar with that as well and that bed is already in place there so that's going to make me really happy and you're all lovely and calm because how you feel has a massive impact on how your dogs feel and react and then you know go out on a, a on a lovely walk and uh, a lovely play it'll really settle them in because when you can play your dog can play and you can't play if you're stressed with campsites if you're taking a camper van or um you're going to one that's already set up if you're glamping or something like that then um yeah get your dog familiar around the area that, that you're actually camping and if there are dogs close by that they go Ooh, don't know about then then you know just walk past a few times um try and do parallel walking um and also avert their eye contact from their neighbors so they get to know them in a non-confrontational way which is how dogs like to do it you know head on to um, eye to eye contact with dogs or people it's intimidating so let's try and avert eye contact wherever possible to help your dog feel really comfortable um, and your space is your space so it's really nice um, if we keep other dogs away from your from your area just where your dog is settling in and then your dog as you you move around um, you'll be meeting people and meeting dogs um, that you like your dogs like so you can find a couple of friends um, um, that they really enjoy being with and there's of course there's always going to be some dogs that just don't need doggy friends and that's absolutely fine they do not have to have doggy friends raw feeding on holiday it couldn't be simpler with Bella and Jude do check whether your holiday cottage has got a freezer but also you can take a, a, a plug-in a small plug-in freezer a small plug-in cool box that you can put your food in and it works really well done it myself if you don't want your food traveling en route you can always go into your portal or uh, phone up customer service to get your food delivered to your destination and they will be more than happy to help you do get your order in for if your, your dog loves a, an, an antler or a yak snack get your order in you can have that delivered to that destination as well because it's always lovely to have a familiar chew that your dog absolutely adores when you get to your holiday place now of course when we go on holiday we also like to visit 
pubs and cafes. This is just so exciting. It's not happened for such a long time. Uh, but what I love to do when like, we take uh, Brora away is I take a, a folded up little blanket or a little, a little um, sort of cushioned dog pad that I put down by the side of my chair. So it's a little piece of home. It's a little piece of, of familiarity. And think about where you're going to sit in these places. I prefer to sit on the, the outer side and also place this pad to the side where there are not people and not dogs. So she can truly relax and there are no prying eyes. There's no one you know can walk past and stare at her. There's no dogs that can, can, can do that also. So she can truly relax by your side while you're having a nice drink or a meal or a coffee or what have you. And again, they don't have to say hello to everybody. It's really nice for you to be their support, say you're absolutely safe here. Loads of strangers around, but you don't have to interact. Um, because in small confined spaces, it's really difficult to be yourself, uh, especially when they're unfamiliar places and with lots of uh, maybe other dogs and people around, you know, it's a big ask. Say you're walking around town. If you, you know, we all love to wink the shop. Uh, and there are some shops our dogs can go into and there's some that they can't. But do also, while you're looking through the windows and deciding on which cake you're going to have, etc., um, that your dog is happy and relaxed by your side and not barking at people going past or lunging or feeling you know, riddle uneasy. Just watch their body language, look at their body language. Uh, because dogs in a stationary position on a lead can feel really vulnerable. So it's really nice, you know, when you're going through busy places, just to keep moving. Um, you know, that would whiz through. Just keep the momentum going. Just stop briefly every now and again. Just you know, have a look, see how your dog is coping. Put your dog in, in front of you so they feel supported. Now, it can get very hot. So if you're going all day on the beach, you know, is your dog going to cope? Are you going to take um, um, shade, shades with you, whether that's big brollies or uh, wind breaks, probably wind breaks in the UK that offer some shade, some nice fresh water. If it's too hot and your dog is struggling, it'd uh, be nice for someone um, just to maybe just pop them home um, for a little bit. And if you are at the beach and you're going from home, then, you know, is your dog going to be happier at home than on the beach when it's really hot and it's too busy. It's lovely for our dogs to run around in the sea, but I would refrain from throwing any toys in to play fetch because then they can gulp in seawater. And this can be, well, it is very toxic, it's very salty, but also um, just purely normal water and retrieving in water all the time swallowing water you do get there's something called water intoxication when your dog is in the sea just get it to chase you um, and have a lovely time and maybe swim with you for a little bit yeah any dogs on the beach any dogs you come across break eye contact and you know if you start talking to to somebody who's got a dog then as you're talking also walk and you're walking together so the dogs aren't getting eye on eye contact and in that way they will more likely become friends a lot quicker so yeah have a lovely time and, uh, yeah happy holidays bye for now <laughs>